So somewhere inside here, this is the uh, board A6, that's the phase lock loop. And I realized it was a test point I could look at, which is the output of the phase lock loop that goes into the frequency uh, control uh, unit A22, actually right into the FM coil. So it actually comes in here. And I was testing here previously, so they are connected to each other. So uh, I put the test point right here on the scope. So I now have two traces on the scope. The top one is TP4 on the A6 phase lock loop. And the bottom one is the sweep I was looking at before. And that tells me a little bit what I expected is that the the jittery variable delay here is when it's waiting for the, the phase loop to lock. I'm not triggered too well. So this is a 20 megahertz setting uh, with the FM coil sweep. Let's try a 50 megahertz span here. And whoa! So that's where it's completely unlocked and I have all the errors. And I get this um, oh no. So what I am seeing actually previously is I can explain now. So this is the phase loop clock going crazy to its maximum voltage. That's 12 volts. And I am just seeing the phase lock uh, signal going straight through and it's going from right here to right here. So that's not good. So now I go back to 20 megahertz span. And it goes okay again. Kind of. And then I go to 1 megahertz when it's using a constant FM. And that seems to work. Uh, I have the desired thing at least in the input with the uh, signal coming out of the loop being applied to the FM coil so got more thinking to do